We're back. We got it. Game three. Woo! Must be Senpai. Thunder Ducks. Holy. Let's go. I am jazzed up for this one. We just saw a couple of really exciting games. The first game, game one between these two teams, really, really close. And then the second one, maybe a little bit more lopsided, but still went the distance. It I, I feel like it shouldn't though. It shouldn't have made it the distance. You see the fiddle six nocturne. They're banning. They're banning out. Wow, this is quick. This is. They know what they want. We Both teams. Time. We don't we have don't time to time. talk. What happened last game? I don't even. Notice they me, don't even senpai. Care. Notice me, senpai banning out fiddle six and nocturne right away. And then on the other side, thunder ducks banning out Evelyn and Cassidy, and still scared from game one. Both teams don't care about those first two games. This is win or go home. Well, not quite, but. You gotta play after this for third place, but this is this is for all the marbles. This, this is for all the marbles. This is their <laughs> life in the finals. This is the no. birth on the line. Everybody better loves marbles. Cause Rise. Oh Rise, the last band for this team. They don't want that club. They did not like it one bit. They didn't have any fun. They have blue side this time. It'll be interesting to see what they take. Vane gonna be the last band for Thunder Ducks. He's gonna take that away from Hand of Trail. Take away any kind of carry potential that he might have in the bot lane. OPs are open, I'll say OPs that. OPs are open, and all the pocket picks <laughs> yeah. are open as well. Pocket picks, they just took away... They've just taken away things that have been played today. Yeah. And Except still for the Vayne and the Fiddlesticks. Thunder Ducks still have Nar. They still have Ari and, you know. Greg is first pick. Henry. Not a fan. He didn't like the Elise. I, I can I'm not a that. fan of this pick, though. I know. In this order, because Metaphor not, doesn't play. <laughs> they were listening to me. Uh, Tan gets his best champion <laughs> by far in Victor. <laughs> and Panda bringing back the Nar. The Nar. I love the odds. I love it. I love the panda ults okay, but as yeah, well. Let's go back to this Gregus pick. First pick, Gregus. Odd. Metaphor doesn't play that champion at all. Yeah. No. So I don't know why you put that kind of priority on it. Priority. Unless you just don't want to give away your picks. This is maybe what they're more going for, right? I guess, but... But then what do you... What, uh, you could just pick Thresh. You could Thresh, just pick Thresh. Or, yeah, exactly. And it looks like... Viger they're locked picking, in. Th now they're picking all their carry lanes. Now oh, they're picking all their carry lanes. So they know, yeah, but. they can counter the top lane and they can counter the mid lane. So Rumble, uh, in game one, did well. Yeah, it, it, honestly, it just it, they didn't lock it in. They picked the graves. Oh, they did pick the graves. But, but Math God did good in game I, one. Rumble I into Nar. I wouldn't have been mad at that pick. That would have been something. A good pick. A good pick. And yeah. Viger here. Scary. And, it's scary. And this is another lane that Team Maya can do well in against Metaphor. Another lane that Victor is going to have trouble with uh, right off the bat. So, you know what? Team Maya, once again, on a carry. A carry. <laughs> and who do you think? Okay, so now Metaphor gets to pick his champion, most likely, unless they leave it to the very last I think pick. I will leave it last pick. Do you think it'll just be Braum Ash here? Braum. I think Ash. I think, I, honestly, I do, pa oh, think Pulse is... They like the super better. He did do a lot better on it. Uh, he did but, do a lot better on it. I think would be so much better into a Viger. Just, right. If you can hit that Viger up. And the spell shield will be nice as well if yeah. Pulse does get in that kind of situation. True. when you get cl If you get close, uh, too close to Team Maya, can spell True. shield out of there. Right? Not as much danger of getting killed. So that has its pros and its cons. Definitely. Not as much for your team offensively, but more defensively. Keep you alive. Mm -hmm. But honestly, Pulse is staying alive was the key to them winning through the bot lane last time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. They were just super true. safe and able to stay alive and deal the damage. But I do like the Graves pick into Sivir. It's it's going to be a harder lane for Sivir to to win this case. Yeah, it, it'll be highly dependent on whether a Pulse is going to apply the spell shield to block some of the main damage spells from ha from ha uh, yeah. Hannah Patrell's exactly. Graves, right? But yeah. you got to almost see it coming. you got to... you got to see this now. It's you got to predict the Buckshot, right? Or yeah. the ultimate to come out to try and save any kind of damage. And Prezaboy hovering over a couple supports here, the Janna, but now what the do you Nautilus. Think they up here? Rumble? I, I could still see them picking you. Yeah, honestly, I could too. Uh, Rumble does really well into uh, Braum. Nar and into Braum as well. Yeah. Braum cannot block that much. You, you put an equalizer over top, you can't block that. No, you <laughs> and Spell Shield, Pulse's Spell Shield, doesn't do anything against Equalizer. It's a damage over time. You Spell Shield, it doesn't do anything. Nara literally doesn't do anything for you. Does D it give you mana? If you block the initial part of it, maybe, but then after one tick, it goes away anyways, yeah, right? Exactly. So it does give the mana, I guess. And it is the rumble, you're right, locked in. Definitely a decent pick for them here, honestly. An overall sound composition for them, but on the other side, you got to look at the Thunder Ducks. They got a couple scary champions for themselves, and they still have Metaphor picking Metaphor a champion. Metaphor picking his new new. Just kidding. Yeah, if. If he picks this, I'm not going to be pleased. I could see Rengar. I could see Rengar uh, definitely come in here. <laughs> definitely Rengar. I hope Rengar, maybe Hector. Viger does a lot of damage, but easily blown up. Definitely 
AD too. Like yeah, and especially going against someone like AD, if you dive on him as Rengar, Team Eye's not gonna two shot you with that ultimate. The stun won't be up right away. You stun won't be. It takes a couple seconds yeah. for that stun to come down. So if you know if Metaphor locks in this Nuna, I'll be thoroughly surprised. I think I think it's troll. Like, it's it's definitely be. troll. He's gonna wait for the last second here. Lock in Rengar <laughs> is what we're kind of planning. There could be another a number of other things too. They could go for a wombo combo fiddlesticks, but Hecarim is it's open. Right, man, so they can't. But oh, fiddle, right. Mundo, oh my oh god. Oh my god. Oh, crafty Buckeye, I've been what? just thrown is through it, a loop. Is this a real comp? Is that gonna be tanky? Do you think it'll be tank? Yes. It, uh, uh, Mundo doesn't really scale that well. He scales with magic penetration is on his cleavers because it doesn't have any uh, AP scaling. It's gotta be Taeyang carry this game. It's gotta be. I am flabbergasted. This could totally blow up in their face. If Team Maya gets ahead, there's no way Metaphor can do anything with Mundo. Honestly, I'm telling you that Notice Me Senpai is a good enough team that they're going to be able to counter this. Y you know, it's going to be insane. I, I don't understand what just happened. I am so confused, Crafty. <laughs> Was there lag? Are we going to have to have a remake here? We're wait. just wait. I'm literally Mundo, just waiting. Is Mundo next to Rengar? No. I'm waiting for someone to run up to me and say that. Uh, remake. We're repicking. Yeah, okay. remake or something like that. Honestly, just looking at this competition, I think I know what you're going to say, but who you got to give the edge to? Uh, <laughs> I do like a good game three, but I gotta give it to Dozy Senpai here. That that comp is way more well rounded, I think, with that. Even though they put the priority in the Gragas. See they that doesn't make any sense. I am so confused right now. Math God has shown that he can play well into yeah, NAR, which exactly. is Pan one of Panda's best champions. So if someone can play well in your one of your best champions, you have to pick something to supplement it in another place, right? And it was a good matchup with the the NAR gang the NAR ganks with the Rengar against the Rumble were actually successful. Yes, they, they got, were, definitely. They got the NAR back in the game and uh, kept them in the game and... Mm, kept it close. Kept it close. Absolutely. And then, uh, you know, Viger in the mid lane, easily assassinated. <laughs> He's gonna have to rush his Anyas, but that's not something you want to do against the Victor lane. No. So if you want to keep yourself alive to the Rengar, you gotta give up stuff in lane, which is not what you want to do. Uh, but you know what? We could be just blown out of the water. His Mundo... Mundo jungle. But you know what? The thing about Mundo is, Level five. I want to say that Metaphor is a really good player and that he's going to make it work, but Mundo has a really low ceiling for skill, right? Yeah. He, it's going to be all about positioning and m map movement, but he doesn't, he's really tanky, doesn't offer too much damage, does have a little bit of sticking is power. Is his wave clear? Like wave in clear, the not that, in the jungle it's the decent. Jungle Cinderhulk decent. plus his W, yeah. his burning agony, he just turns that on and the wave clear is pretty it's decent. Like my mind is absolutely blown as well, uh, but maybe he's just planning on being too tanky for the other team to handle and just be that just annoying presence in the backline. I've seen Mundos just be annoying, unkillable, just idiots running around in the backline throwing cleavers left and right and just doing a ton of like AOE damage and just tanking. But, but you could have done that top. Yeah, and Panda could have done it on NAR easily. Yeah, yeah exactly. We've seen, we saw it game one, him be relevant all game on NAR just full in tank, the, yeah, in the backline tank, stunning yeah. stuff. So this is going to be highly dependent on Pulsus to carry. This Pulsus is going to have to carry a little bit here. If Taeyang doesn't get ahead, Pulsus in the bot lane is going to have to carry on Sivir. And just not something that we've seen that often. And it's first bot in the finals, so it's going to be huge. This is the last game, and I'm so surprised. Haven't seen Metaphor play Mundo once. Maybe this is just like that one OP a pick. You know, it's do or die, so they got to bring it up. Yeah. And I guess with that, we're going to take a quick break here. Yeah, we're going go to ads. go to ads. We'll be right back with game number three. Hey guys, we are back for game three between the Thunder Ducks and Notice Me Senpai here in our last semifinal match of the day. I'm Silky Mins, joined by Crafty Buckeye, and we're going to get right into this one. On the blue side, it's going to be Notice Me Senpai. Math got in for his first matches playing Rumble in the top lane. Henry is going to bring out Gregus in the mid lane. Um, or in the jungle, rather, in the mid lane, Team Maya gonna play Vigar. Hannah Patrell and Impreza Boy gonna round out bot lane with Graves and Nautilus. And on red side, we see TD Panda 210 playing that NAR. He's playing that not connected. The not connected champ, OP. It's uh, 4v5. Just kidding. I was really actually hoping that this Mundo would be level 5, but it's not. Played by Metaphor. Taeyang bringing in his victor. Sivir played by Pulsus and Braum by Devmaster J. That El Tigre Braum, El Tigre. one of the best skins in the game like, by I far. I thought this was like his secret pocket pick that like, the maybe it's like something that he mains on his smurf that yeah, like he's no got, one knows. Metaphor actually has a Mundo only smurf <laughs> account. He did like a level 30 to challenger on it, but no one knew it was him. Yeah. So it's super secret under wraps, but bringing out that TPA. Uh, still, uh, 
not loading any champions into this one. Like, we we're going to play this game without champions here. <laughs> we're just looking at the fountain, just nice. waiting for them to drop it's, in. It's actually a sick fountain, though. you got to admit. Yeah, look at this sick fountain. Oh, we're coming into... Oh, Imagine how and we're in. League of Legends used to look and how... I know. Before the new map came out, I was so upset. I was like, ah, oh, but you know what? Change is good sometimes. You just got to get used to it. And the new map is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I think that was really... Uh, Easy to see how nice this new map was compared to the last one because just before Worlds they were replaying the old, the season four Worlds. Yeah. I, it was almost unwatchable. It's 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 it was tough to watch. It's it's ugly. It just didn't look right. The now, mini map was terrible. Right I know. It honestly is just. And then you go back even further and it's just worse. But we're not going to get into that right now. Yeah, we're living in the present we're right here. We're living in the present and no Thunder Ducks with a gold lead again. Okay? Notice me, Senpai. <laughs> has, yeah, I love down in gold already. <laughs> <laughs> They're going for a different level one start here, not going for the line of scrimmage like Thunder Ducks are, but instead going as five. But that's going to allow Pandy to get some vision deep into the Notice Me Senpai jungle near that blue buff. Notice Me Senpai definitely looking for a better start than last game. Last game they having that two kill think, all think, buff lead. I think they'll get it with the Mundo jungle. I don't think that same thing will happen. I don't. Yeah, think Mundo need... can't just go in. No. Extremely tanky already, having a lot of health there. Pulse is almost matching his he'll be throwing health that numbers. Cup around. Yeah, he'll be throwing that Summoner's Cup. Summoner Cup. Not quite what the SKL trophy looks like, but looking for the same thing here. Maybe one day that skin will be out. The SKL, <laughs> the SKL, the SKL skin. skin. Mundo? Yeah, on, if if Deathmaster J wins this game and then brings Mundo out in the finals. Day. That's metaphor, dude. Oh, I mean metaphor. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Man Crush Monday. Man Crush Monday. Um, <laughs> metaphor. <laughs> there'll be a metaphor. <laughs> Mondo t uh, scale skin. SKL skin. Yeah. It'll be hypey. All right. It looks like the double jungle start for both teams here. Panda now starting with Metaphor at the blue buff, and then it is Math God and Hanry at their own buff this time. Not fooling around. They're just playing defensively. There's a defensive ward at his own blue as well. Hanry going to smite for his bottom lane there before moving on to his own buff. Standard start. Standard start. A and this, this time, this game, we're starting even. So it'll be interesting to see... Um, you know, where teams go. Which team really pulls ahead? Yeah. I'm, I'm interested to see this early mid lane. Like, Tiger won't be as strong right away. You'll have to wait. He skills, like, too well, almost. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be it's gonna be important for them to get to that point before Taeyang can pull ahead and do what he does and carry sometimes. Especially, he's going to need to carry now with Mundo Jungo, in effect. Yeah, Taeyang going for the barrier in the mid lane. Gonna try and keep himself alive a little bit more, but uh, Team Mai gonna bring out the teleport. I know that Tang wants to stay alive, but maybe the better strategy would just be to do what he's doing now, exactly. Just push out the wave as soon as you upgrade that Hextech core. Not worry about fighting the Vigar. Vigar, but worry about, you know, other places on the map, yeah. which is, I think, what he's gonna have to do with Metaphor playing Mundo. I'm not sure that Mundo can put out the kind of pressure that Nocturne and Rengar was able to do. It'll be so interesting. Me and Crafty were flabbergasted as soon as that Mundo was locked in. But we're just, we're ex we're able to be, you know, shown that maybe the Mundo pick is just too tanky and too annoying for, you know, other teams to forget about. So maybe we'll be proven wrong, but for now, the Mundo, just a confusing pick. Confusing and, but I think we should start har stop harping on that. Just trust. Like trust maybe they trust metaphor, right? Maybe, they, maybe he knows what he's doing. I'm pretty sure... We're gold, silver, and he's master. Don't give it. Crafty, <laughs> come on, embarrass me on stream. But Taeyang gonna have the early gank against him. Does have the barrier available to flash away too. But they're just gonna stick around on this one. Team Maya waiting for one more Q, one more auto. He's gonna get the first blood. But in the top side, his metaphor ganking Math God doesn't have flash available. We'll already used it. Panda still having the uh, slow available. He's gonna go down eventually. But the shield is gonna keep him alive. And the dive on this one, flash under turret. But this is gonna cost Panda his life. Not. Getting the actually the execute on that one. Math God not touching him. Didn't have flame spitter active and not getting the auto off. Definitely worth. I was thinking maybe that wasn't worth because you're just trading one for one and using that flash. But you know what? If the execute's there, that is definitely <laughs> worth. If, if no damage is done, just pulse is using that spell shield just on the first empowered auto from Impreza Boys Nautilus, stopping the stun there. Very nice use of that. That Mundo pressure, though. Mundo pressure, wow. I've already been shown that it's OP, but Pulse is getting stunned up a little bit here. Panda Patrell just teeing off. Dead Master J throwing up that shield, gonna dissuade any further poke from the side of Notice Me Senpai. And Presboy sitting right on top of a ward, but still able to get that dredge line right onto Pulses. As Pulse is not having that spell shield available, used moments before. But already, Metaphor just on Mundo, just able to gank. Maybe Math God is like we were not respecting the Mundo enough and just not warding. Not yeah, not respecting the level three gank. When 
And do you see Viger already able to pick up the chalice? That's huge. Yeah, that's absolutely huge. He's definitely going to be on his way to an Ath Athene's Unholy Grail. Going to be a core item for him, you know. Vi uh, Victor still pumping out lots of magic damage and having a little bit more range than Team Maya, uh, you know, except for the stun. But Metaphor back in this top lane already. This might be a recurring theme. Might be looking to get Panda ahead, but Tang getting ganked again for the second time. Not having any summoners this time, though. Team Maya going to be looking for this one. Henry still sticking on that. There's going to be lots of slows available. Not sure that Tang's going to be able to get away from this one. going to try and do as much damage as he can, but that's another kill to Team Maya. And this is exactly what he needs. Panda hopping in, gonna gnar out here, gonna use his stun on a Math God, do a lot of damage, but fighting in a big creep wave. The overheat by Math God, but not having his Flame Splitter active is pretty huge. You wanna usually overheat having your Flame Splitter active so that, you know, people are forced to run because you get them powered autos when you're overheated and silencing yourself, but. Spell Shield missed. Spell but Shield missed. Holy. There. This Viger is. This Viger is scary getting already. huge. Yeah, 2 0. And it's early game. Absolutely. And we know how scary it can be late game. Yeah, it's going to be really hard for Tang to stay alive, you know. Still not getting much uh, experience onto himself. Level 4 to Team Maya's level 6. You know what I expect? I expect <laughs> I expect Hanner to be right back in that lane. If he has to flash Body Slam, if that's what it takes to get another kill, I would do it. Honestly, get Team Maya as ahead as you can. Try and make this metaphor pick or irrelevant and make Panda's, you know, early kind of... Uh, start into top lane irrelevant as Metaphor back in this top lane again. Yeah, they know Panda needs to get ahead if they want to win. They need those big gnarls. But I'm not sure. <laughs> it's just so confusing right now. It's fine. We're going to be totally shown that sure. this mono pick is good. And we're going to have a great game to go 70 minutes and the winner will go to the finals. The w one reason maybe why I see that Mundo is good pick here is because Hannah Patrell uh, on Graves. Graves has a very tough time dealing with tanks. Not a lot he can do. But there's going to be a dive here. Mathematics God is going to try and turn this one around. Panda just barely low and getting out of that one. Team Might flashing for this one. Does have the ult available if he wants it. And he's on a killing spree. An ill-fated dive there. Panda was not level 6. I'm not sure that they had enough damage to do that one. You have a Mundo on your team. He can't pump out that much damage. No. Not having anything challenging smite actually onto him. Uh, going to be looking for that empowered a true damage and a little skirmishes, but Mundo's not going to do many skirmishes against a fed Viger or anything like that. So, just an ill-fated dive there, biting off more than they could chew. I, I'm flabbergasted. I don't know if they. D what What do you do at this point to come back to get this to shut down this Viger to shut down this gold lead that they have accumulated over these first few minutes? It's going to be tough. Team Maya level seven has a level advantage and the item advantage and the kill advantage over Tae Yang. Tang still keeping up in CS, but because Team Maya was taking a hiatus in top lane, getting yeah. some kills for himself. Exactly. And you know what? This is looking like almost a reverse of last game. Right off the bat, you know, it took a little bit longer than two minutes, but Notice Me Senpai this time are the ones that are ahead and on really good um, members for them. Honestly, Team Maya is the one you want to get ahead, just like last time. All it was a metaphor kills. you wanted All ahead. Three. All three, absolutely. And it's only going to get worse. Unlike last game where maybe the scaling was in the favor of Thunderducks uh, with Rai scaling up and that double scaling build of Rod of Ages and Tear the Goddess. You know what? Viger scales infinitely, so they, he wins the scaling c competition. Yeah. I, I, am, I don't Crafty know. needs, needs I, to I take a quick five. I don't know five. how they're going to get to this Viger. Like, they got to find a way to get past that stun and they don't really have they it. They don't right. have any hard engage. No. That's why Rengar would have been so good or you know, Nocturne banned away. I just think they lost out of pick and ban on this one. And Preza Boy has a lot of ways to get in. You know, Math God can equalize her from long ways away. There's lots of ways to get to the back line of Thunderducks, but they're going to have trouble, like you said, getting to Team Maya. Honestly, he didn't even need to take a defensive summoner spell able to take TP and bring the three kills to another lane. Yeah. Or to the first dragon, the or the first, you know, team fight bot lane, you know, and Tang just not able to keep up with the roam or stay in lane. He really loses on both they're sides. They're not out of it yet. I'm gonna say that though. This Definitely, they're this only game. down one K, despite this everything I've just been, yeah. you know, ta praising Nosy Senpai for. They're still only ahead one K. And all the kills are on one person. So if you kill that person, then then it could go your way. Absolutely. But. You know what, they yeah. still got the Graves, they still got a Rumble, yeah. that can do less thing. And they've also got tons of CC, once again. Uh, Thunderduck's more going for a defensive kind of approach. Henry's sitting in this top lane. Math God getting ulted on, but he's just leaving him. 
you know, he's in no real trouble of getting soloed by Panda at this point, barely taking any damage from that full combination by Panda. Hannah Petrell just not afraid to dash right into the middle of that one. Knows he's not going to take very much damage. Now Henry advancing in the brush, but just waiting for that Panda initiate. This could be a death for Panda, although he does have the hop and the flash available. Going to be looking for that explosive cast. The equalizer totally going to whiff, though. Not going to get anything off that. The explosive cast takes him out of the ulti. That was just a outplay. huge misplay by... Outplay! Outplay! Just Sick outplay of a Panda. <laughs> not even having to use flash to get out of that one. Uh, Math God and now Henry missing some really key cooldowns. Key cooldowns if there was going to be a big fight, now would be the time to have it, even with Team Maya being ahead as he is. If you can get to Team Maya, the fight is over. Yeah, a few, a few, a, yeah. The, the way to get to him is going to be really hard, but if they can do it, oh, here comes the It's all going to be a position, and it looks like the Glacial Fish are going to go out on a hat of Patrell. He's going to flash away, and the passive is going to take him out of this one. He's just going to use all his abilities before he goes down, and Presable is going to flash into edge line to the tower to keep him safe. That's just one kill. Team Maya now here, and bringing that advantage. He does have the stun available. Deathmaster J, extremely low. Oh, going to miss all his abilities there. The flash, great by Deathmaster J. And Preza Boy going to hook up Metaphor, and that's another kill on a Team Maya. So although they lose Hannah Patrell in the bot lane, and Preza Boy able to get out of that one alive. Henry back in this top lane. Doesn't have an ult available, though. Panda flashing away from this one, but Henry's low on mana. Math got his full health, though, so going to be able to help his teammate there. I think it's a very key thing that Pulsus gets that kill. If it goes over to Dev Master, it would really feel pretty bad that you burn everything. All, you burn three flashes to land that concussive blows. You land. It was. It was. Almost, I wouldn't say it was worth, but it, it was, was something. It was something. It was something, and that's really all. Thunder Dust. Panda Patrol was really zoning that Silver Oak. Oh, bot lane, and it needed to, that pressure needed to come back. They needed to gain that pressure back. They needed to gain some CS. Graves is a bully, yeah, against Simmer, mm -hmm. but it needed to be there. Mundo with the good gank, it's a Mundo gank, as good as it's going to get. As, as good as it's going to get. You're going to get the good ganks off by having better positioning and ward control and having it there, but Panda going to dive Math God. I'm not sure why he's going backwards, though. Math God could have just went towards his tower, but instead going towards the wall, going to throw down the equalizer, just going to get out of this one for free anyway, still having flash available. So although peculiar positioning by Math God, he's the Math God, he calculated it in his head and he said, you, said, you know what, I could walk back here and still survive without having to flash. And that's going to be Dragon Control uh, started up here by Notice Me Senpai. They're getting the vision, they're getting the scuttle, they're getting all the TPs pieces needed. Up. TPs are up by everyone, boys. This could be it. This could be the first real team fight of the game, but it looks like they might just be giving this one up as Metaphor is getting stunned down. The teleport is going to come in. TD Panel is going to come in the back end of this one. Hannah Patrell is a little bit low here. Pulse is going to come in as well. Taying in the back of this one. And Notice Me Senpai is going to caught between a rock and a hard place. There's still no equalizer available for Math God and Preza Boy. Team Maya is still alive though. He's going to have to do as much as he can. He's going to flash away from this one. The concussive blows and the flash by Tae Yang and Demaster J double kill over to Tae Yang. Oh. Math God is low, but he's going to get caught. And it's going to be Henry going over the wall to try and get Boom. on to Demaster J, no but mana. he is out of mana. Tae Yang's going to try and find him here at the back of the end of this four one. Four for four. This is four for four so far. These are the last members. Henry's just going to try and walk away. Tae Yang might not have enough damage, but Henry's got no mana left. He's going to have to wait on some mana to try and body slam out of this one. Uh, Tae Yang just going to not be able to get this one. Four for four. Such a disjointed fight there. And you know what? I want to say that that was a win for Thunder Ducks going even in that fight. But honestly... Team Maya got two kills. Team Maya one. got two kills on that one. And Math God came in to that fight without his equalizer. Honestly. His equalizer, but it was key kill... Key Kills going on to the key members. Seashells, of, seashells by the seashore. Yeah, uh, right. Unique New York. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's the last thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Like you said, yeah. six, one, and two now yeah. on a team Maya. But now you see Victor coming back into the team. He's getting some kills. He's getting some gold. He's gonna be able to do still, some still, still up there in CS a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and now that's Dragon too over to Thunder Ducks, and now the gold lead only six hundred. Yeah. So kind of like a metaphor esque situation here where all the kills are on to one person for notice me senpai it's almost becoming its own metaphor <laughs> oh <laughs> throw down those next level next level puns here yeah. i see awesome <laughs> nice but i'm gonna say that all the kills going over to rengar rengar is easier to shut down than vigar vigar literally point and click rengar, rengar you have rengar. to get Oh, like, like last game, oh, like, like you know, last, metaphor Nocturne. having all or yeah. Nocturne, Rengar, just champions I, like I that. You were about Sorry, Nocturne yeah. In this game. I was like, what? 
game. Max have been deaf. But Metaphor coming from the back here. Deadmaster J almost going to go down. The ultimate used on a Metaphor. Hannah Patrell going to be exhausted, but he's going to get one for his troubles. And now Hanry's here as well. The explosive cast onto nothing. Trying to predict a flash, but not getting anything. Paul says low on mana. His bail shield not going to give anything back. Hanry, the huge misplay. Thought there was going to be a flash there. Try to predict it. Try to get the, onto the top 10 list, but not going to find it. Maybe find himself on the top five blunders. Blunders. Yeah, yeah missed ultimate there. Misplays over Just yeah. overthinking it was, you know, Hanry. And that could have been the fight. That could have turned things around and got his team. Uh, ahead in that fight, but instead just kills over more to the Thunder Ducks. 2 1 and 5 now is Pulsus. We talked about how he's gonna have to carry, and now he's got the you know ability to do so. I'm not sure that Pulsus and Metaphor wanted to find Team Maya there. I think he was roaming down, but then find himself you know being chased out a little bit. You know what? If they would have stopped his back, Team Maya, yeah, I guess he didn't have ultimate. Maybe he wouldn't have been able to get a kill, but that was scary. Metaphor was low, and so was Pulsus. I'm, I don't know why, but uh, this Mundo pick is working, and it's... It's, it's actually working because you just need the positioning. The pos you're position, right. right? Positioning and ward control, and they, and they really believe that they and can have that kind of positioning. They, they know that it's not going to do the damage that the Rengar is going to do, and they know that he's not going to be able to play the same kind of style. But mm. we haven't seen this kind of style out of him, so that's why we're so... We're so flabbergasted, because this isn't it. like him. Yeah, no. This honestly isn't like him. And it, out of all champions that do this kind of style, he picks Mundo to do it. He doesn't pick, like, the Gragas, which was taken away. Maybe they knew. Maybe they knew that... that you take Gragas. That's what he... Kind of, and yeah. the same exact thing, Hannah Patrell gonna get engaged on here, and Preza Boy gonna try and keep his carry along alive as long as possible, but the exact same thing happening, not enough deep wards, and he's playing Mundo like he plays Rengar, just coming from the lane gank, I think this is just comes from Hannah Patrell inexperienced in the AD carry position, just like standing there, like, yeah. they're walking right at him, obviously something's gonna happen, Pulse, yeah, literally, you said, you said it, Pulses needs to get ahead, and it's happening, it's happening, 3-1-5 and five now in this bot lane, I mean, Sivir, still not the best carry potential, but still does tons of damage in team fights. AoE damage, like, out the wazoo. A good speed up for Mundo to potentially get to the Viger. Right, that could be a way to get in. I mean, there's still a stun, but things are kind of starting to fall apart here. I I feel like Henry's just not able to put up Look with the this. pressure. They have a 2,000 gold lead. Yeah. 2, All of a sudden, this bottom side of the map is starting to flip this game. Yeah. It, you know, Thunderducks may have been listening into our cast here a little bit and criticizing it and <laughs> saying, what are you, what you talking what are you talking about? Our bot lane can't carry. Of course it can, and we'll show you how. Yeah. And Mundo's just an purely enabling Pulsus right now. Why are you hating on my pocket pick? Yeah, Yeah, I'm sorry, Pulsus. Sorry. It, it, the meme is too good to pass up. Yeah. Henry going to find himself going into the jungle, but the, he is totally seen out here. And Impreza Boy is with him. But if there is a teleport in by Team Maya and Math God, they're both available relatively soon. The explosive cast is going to be used. Impreza Boy is going to be stunned up. One more auto, though. The dredge line is going to come up first, though. He's surely going to go down. But Team Maya is not here, and Henry's going to go down as well. Victor is here, able to beat... Team Maya to the punch, and that's going to be two kills over now to the Thunder Ducks. You're not going to see that same score line on Metaphor this game, but look at the kill for this participation. Nine out of 11. Nine out of 11, exactly. That's huge for his team. He's just been... Scissors. Pulses is 10. Wow. Yeah, Pulses has been 10. Everything's been happening in this bot lane, and I'm not sure how Notice Me Senpai hasn't keyed into this. They're really good players, and they just haven't realized, like, they're just going through this bot lane now. They realize Metaphor camp top, didn't get anything, yeah. got killed. But now Metaphor has been bought like four times in a row. Camp top all three games for the first ten minutes of, of every game, and now you see him do something that he doesn't do very often. Bought. Yeah. Pressure and, bot. Focus bot. And Henry stopped going mid too. It's almost like Henry like fell asleep here. Almost not quite, but it's pretty close. He, he had the pressure. He had the repeat ganks. He had Team Maya. St she, Team Maya is still obviously had six kills. It's mm -hmm. not gonna hurt. Yeah, and 170 CS. Henry was the one pushing the agenda. Now he's on the back foot, and Metaphor is the one saying, "You know, you can follow me around. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. I'm done following you." Yeah. And you know what? Henry's just sitting there and letting it happen. Just definitely looking for him to pick things up a little bit here, as we see him going the more supportive style this game. The Sightstone picked up, and on the other side, Metaphor straight tank, yeah, Spirit a, Visage right that's away. We don't see it in Henry too often. Actually, I'm surprised, and I actually like it. I'm not complaining about it. Mm -hmm. I but. Think he didn't do that against like champions like Rengar and Nocturne, but now he's doing it against Mundo? It doesn't make oh, sense. Wow. Metaphor cut out in this mid lane here. The explosive cast going to make sure they get this one. And they're going to give the kill over to Impreza Boy. I, he, how, I think many they just, how many ults were used there? Yeah, all, three? all of them. Yeah, all three ults there used. Not, not, not Impreza Boys, uh, but the, you know what, uh, Team Maya's yeah. ultimate used up and Henry's explosive cast. Just make sure he gets that just one. And that's and he was able to live for that long. That's just blows my mind. They might be able to get this one. They're gonna get the tower for sure, but the glacial fissure is gonna come out. The stun only on a hammer. He's gonna get blown up extremely fast. The members had to make sure they finish the tower first.
But that's going to be a kill on a Deadmaster J. Panda going to ult everyone back in his own tower. And Present Boy's going to go down here. Math God, the flash in by Pulsus, a little bit aggressive there. Just try, thinking he is going to crit and one shot someone. Team Maya a little bit low there after Taeyang. Just stepping around inside the ultimate. Just doing a little bit of fancy feet. Fancy feet. Absolutely. Pulsus and Panda now Pulsus. looking towards his dragon pit. Wait, it's live, it's live. All ob all objectives on the map are live right now. So yeah, and they're gonna go for this one. Metaphor is right free. back there. That's Henry free. just getting alive now. This is gonna be free. No vision on it at all for Nozomi Senpai. This is gonna be the second of the game for Thunderducks. Things are just tilted the other way. We talked so much. We were so flabbergasted. Mundo, this sucked. It's Whatever. Working. It's working now. <laughs> but I think most of it, I don't wanna downplay anything that Metaphor's on. He's had great map control and vision control. I think Nosby Zampai just shot themselves in the foot. Henry stopped ganking, yeah. stopped applying pressure. I, I would definitely agree. Yeah, and ward coverage just hasn't been there for Nosby Zampai. Not something we are used to seeing, because Impreza Boy is constantly, it seems like he spends 75% of his time in game when he's not dead clearing, clearing wards. wards. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Every time the camera pans to him, we're usually seeing him clear wards, but this game we've been seeing him just get ganked again, again, and again, back to back to back. You got Drake there in the back lane, uh, in the bot lane rather, just. <laughs> Classic. Classic. Hotline bling. Hotline bling. Um, <laughs> yeah, Metaphor just going to the top side now. And really good realization by Metaphor to know that the top lane camp wasn't working. You're not going to get much onto Math God. He's just doing really well on Rumble, so you got to go somewhere else. And realizing that lane was bot lane, really good on him. You're not going to have those same damage of the Rengar ganks from game one in this lane matchup. So he knows the damage is not quite there to kill him. <laughs> Why not get other lanes? Ahead, like Victor was 0 2 with no summoners, mm -hmm. <laughs> and Viger was just playing off that so well. And now we haven't seen any fights with any huge stuns, any huge. Oh, they're looking to dive handy. Right? Ooh, the explosive cast gonna push him further into safety. They're gonna try and dive this one. The equalizer are pretty good. Everything used on him, Team Maya. Is doing all he can. Math God is going to be the one to eventually they, get that one. What can they get on the other side of the map? What can they get on the other side of the map is a good question. It's going to be two and three on the bottom side of the map. They're just going to get the tier one here. Oh, Taeyang. Like Taeyang pushing mid. Pushing mid, but I'm not sure he can do it. The teleport come in from a couple members there. T Mai going to go back and protect that one. So nothing lost. All in all, a good trade for them. A kill and a tower going over to them. Dead Master J and Pulse is just pushing in this bot side, though. And Hannah Petrell still sticking around here, trying to do what he can. Kind of got camped a little bit, but still keeping up a little bit in items. Uh, just down half an item, I would say. The zeal to the completed Static Shiv on the side of Pulsus. But, you know what, boy. I want to say that Thunderduck are really doing well and they're winning this game right now, but they're not. Honestly, the later this game goes, the worse it is going to be for them. Team Maya infinitely scales. He's going to just, the later this game goes, he just gains AP and AP. Yeah, yeah. That passive, right? Um... And the longer this one goes, the worse off they are. So they needed to be up at like 5k at this point, not just 2k. I, I'm not going to say it's over at all. No, I'm yeah. just not saying that they're... It's not, they not going to lean their way. Yeah, it, it, pretty soon, you know. You're going to need some big gnarls. You're going to need some massive victory. Which damage. is definitely possible. Yeah. And that's something we've seen from Panda earlier today, even in the past as well. And all he, season. All season. He's never ceased to amaze us with his gnar play. Definitely one of the big carries for his team, and this is one of the games he's really gonna have to step up. Yeah, and I'm just excited for where this game's gonna go. Like, game, this is a hypey game three to yeah. get into the finals of SKL tomorrow. This is really reminding me of game one. Yeah. It honestly is. This is gonna go the distance. Except for completely different comps, but yeah, it is. It really is, <laughs> and, it, and this is probably more exciting comps. I know, like, Rengar is really exciting. Like, who's he gonna yeah. assassinate next? And why he does crazy things, but you know what? This is pretty crazy, too. Haven't seen Mundo uh, too much in SKL. Gonna see what kind of impact he can bring. He scales really well, too, though. I do must say he scales really well, but in the opposite kind of way. Tank-wise, he scales extremely well with HP. He'll like, never kill the guy. It's honestly disgusting. Um, so a little bit of a siege here is starting to be set up. Metaphor is just happy to be that front line. And he's just going to dive on a Team Maya. The rest of the team going for the rest of the members. But look at him. He's just soloing Team Maya under the turret. They're going to eventually take him down. And it's going to be Impreza Boy being taken down on the other side of things. Deadmaster J forced to flash. Math God doesn't having anything available. But they're going to get a double kill. The stun on the two members by Taeyang. The... Golden boy, Henry. Where did he come from? Where did he come from? Over the wall. The Gnarl. Patang is going to be able to kill Henry. And he's dominating. Hannah Patrell is going to be the next to go down. Panda was not in that fight at all, but coming in at the end and able to save his team. 
three for two? That, three for that two. Went in their favor? Metaphor diving straight into Team Maya. Team Maya not respecting and be like, what is this guy? He can't kill me. But the challenging anything. smite. He took trunk him down to like 20% health before Team Maya threw down the stun. All she was able to do for that fight is throw it on stuns and I wasn't able to hit Q's. Yeah, Team Maya not relevant. Had to burn all on Mundo. He really got to get peel. Like Mundo was able to just run right at him. The rest of the team was going at the you know, Henry and Math God were at the front line. Both got stunned up. New, new Viger counter? By the gravity Mundo? field. Uh, yeah, uh, I maybe. Like Olaf would be better, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, Olaf or Gangplank, yeah. you know, stuff like that. But it's working out. But I, on it, uh, he was just able to run at him for free. Yeah. You got to have some peel. You've got a Nautilus on your team and a Gragas. And you've got yourself peel with your stun. Alt, those alts were burned before, and then immediately after they're burned, you see Mundo just pop alt and go. Just run in, absolutely, and go in. Panda wasn't even there for that fight, bringing that one around now. Getting tanky in his own right, got the Banshee's Veil and the Black Cleaver on himself. And across the map, Math got having the Zhonyas and the Haunting guys. But what a game. Two kills separate these guys. Two kills separating these guys. We kind of lost our feet a little yeah. bit, but we're back. Yeah, we're back. Yeah, just a quick hiatus there from that one. And now setting up for the Dragon, which is going to be live in 25 seconds. Definitely going to be a contested objective as things are starting to stack up in the Dragon uh, department for Thunderducks and now zero Dragons for Notice Me Senpai. Yeah, uh, it's going to be scary if they can get to that point, even though Viger is scary. Oh, flash. Ooh, the flash on the Henry. They're going to go hard for this one. The present Boy is going to try and do what he can to keep his carry alive. But he's going to get set up and taken down immediately. And that equalizer is pretty good. Hand of Patrell instantly killed by Tae Yang. Math God finds himself in the middle of this one. Team Maya over the wall, but he's going to get found oh, by there's A little thing. bit of hide and seek there. And they're totally getting outplayed in this one. Panda low, but he's not going to go down. Henry going to be the last to fall. Math God oh. just finds himself in a pink war, just standing there <laughs> trying to hide. But there is nowhere to hide in this one. A four for f uh, five for one. A totally awesome. They're not, they're not even going to go for ba Dragon. They're going to go yeah, Baron here. Almost completely ace there for Thunder Ducks. That was just a complete misplay and mispositioning by Notice Me Senpai Down. getting caught out. It's Graves up in eight seconds. Closest TP is 15 seconds. I think this is free. Mundo can tank the crap out of this. <laughs> I am blown away. This is actually happening right now. Tae Yang now at the end of that one. Eight, two, and six. Six, one, and 13 in the bot lane. Nar is still getting big. Do you see? That Viger was what? 5 0? 4 0? 6 1. 6 1. And the six Victor two. was 0 2. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And now 8 2 and 6 on the other side. <laughs> it was immediately after those repeat ganks, what were that, four minutes into the game? Mm -hmm. This is just. Immediately getting... turns around, becomes part of 14 kills without dying. Now down 8,000 gold crafty. This is the gold lead that you wanted. This is the gold lead that they wanted to shut down this infinitely scaling Vigra, but it doesn't matter if you're instantly dying just to a full tank Mundo anyways, <laughs> not having any peel for yourself after- Look at how tanky that Mundo after, is. Yeah, he infinitely, he scales really well too and the HP department scales really well with HP. He's gonna build the Righteous Glory too, which is gonna help him get even further into the back line. Before that stun can even get up, he'll be in your face. He'll be right in your face and Henry, Getting caught out there, okay, the flash initiate onto just Henry, you gotta give that up. And President Boy going in though, just like Hail Mary trying to save his team, just, I don't know why he did that. You just gotta let him die. If they're gonna spend yeah. so many resources just to kill one of your tanky jungler yeah, members. Flash, Gnarl, yeah, onto okay. Henry, yeah, okay, leave it. Yeah, okay, have, have him. You can have the dragon, okay. Yeah, and now <laughs> they, instead they lose all their lives and Dragon Baron, and, and Henry too. You know, you didn't save Henry. You're not going to save him. All your members weren't there and Prezboy decides to go in instead. He is not tanky at all. He's got to lock it and the Sightstone and, and we'll just see the how well this tier. team pushes these with these Baron minions oh, here. Oh, excellently well. Tiger Pulse won't do is going to tear through this and the rest of the team as well. Just absolutely going to destroy this. Taeyang doing the empowered autos against structures that ability power converted into his auto attacks. Going to be able to do so much now. All these items are starting to come out on every member of Thunder Ducks, and now just Notice Me Senpai is caught in a trap. This is exactly where the situation they were at the this point last game. I wouldn't say it was this bad. They still have the scaling this game. Mm -hmm. They actually, but. yeah, you're right. They have a little bit of shot there. Henry going in, though. Explosive cast trying to split everyone up. Panda, great ult. Deadmaster J is low. Present Boy going right in the middle of this one, but he's going to get popped. Mask God, he's on his here. He's surely going to go down after this one comes back. Hannah Patrell, you know, the next one to fall. Oh and everyone's just dying God. so fast. Is Team Maya doesn't even have a chance. Double kill for Pulses. Team Maya's going to take down him. Panda is just going to die from this one, but he still has ultimate available. He just wants to be fiving at this point. Metaphor going to be trying to frontline as much damage as possible. That's going to be the first inhibitor of the game for Thunder Ducks. I thought you could win. I thought they could win, but no. <sighs> Team Maya held it down. If he if he would have went down, yes, I would have said that that almost could have been at least a couple, you know, one or two Nexus Towers for Thunder Ducks, but instead, 
They've got the almost 10k gold lead. They're happy to take that one home. Everyone's just dying so fast. I think they just need to play the disengage game. It's gonna be a little tough. It was supposed to be a little tough for yeah. Thunder Ducks to get to now Team Maya. Now but you gotta go top, get that wave pushing, because they have no turns. That so. was almost desperation. Henry just running in the middle and just it literally pushed the front line of Thunder Ducks closer to his own team and pushing the back line further away. Yeah, you don't want Mundo in. No, you want to save that. You can't use yeah. that barrel like that anymore. You, you could have maybe you if your team was further ahead. You right? needed to peel for your team now. You can't use it to engage. You need to. You need to keep TMI alive. You need to keep Hannah Patrell alive. But they're just able to run through this entire team now. But it's gone to the point where now they're in a tough spot. Now they've got to find p picks. They've got to try and make uh, plays happen when Thunder Ducks miss plays or miss positions. But that's going to be tough because these guys don't do that very often. Yeah, and I... <laughs> I'm not really sure how it's happening, but it's happening, and they have a 10,000 gold lead almost. Yeah, and <laughs> I w said, uh, you know, we were ready to be blown away by this mono pick. See, okay, man, yeah, we, we, we were shutting it down. Do. We were shutting it down, but that's because I think we had the right to. I think we ha had the right to too. I'm not saying we were not, wrong to, but yeah, you know what? He's showing us. He's you showing know us how it's done, and I. He's I, showing us that he respects the rest of his teammates, yeah. right? He yeah, says, he's, you know what? The rest of my team carry two guys. I'm not the only one. It just happens to be me most yeah. of the time. Most deaths on the team. Yeah, yeah. Least kills, except for Brom. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, metaphor, just an overall good player. I think this yeah. just showcases that he can play yeah, exactly. it all. Exactly. And um, you know what? There's still some room for No Sweet Sam to come back. 10k isn't too, too bad. The later this one goes, like we said, they've got scaling on their side. They can catch people out. They've got a lot of ways to do it, but they just got to play this differently. Henry can't run at them and just explosive cast. That's not what's going to go. They're going to get engaged on. Panda going right into the middle of this one. Going to ult up three people. And Prince Boy can get instantly killed. Panda Patrol is in the back. Metaphor doing what he can to try and kill the carries here. The flash from Henry going to keep him alive. Math God going to go down. The ultimate used on Metaphor. Going to take him down. Panda Patrol able to live through this fight, not like most fights. And that's a four... Uh, four members left for Thunder Ducks. Only one person going down. They were diving. One for two. They, and were, they, were, they were almost diving two towers. Two. Exactly. They pretty much did. Metaphor going right into that one. The Righteous Glory able to do so much. Oh, and that's a kill over to Panda. That is going to be a lot Mike better for them. Still scary. I'm yeah, going to say that. still scary. But they got to respect it, but you know what? They're going to take that. If Team Maya is forced to burn his ultimate on the Mundo, tank. Yes. then I'd, I'd say that's still a win. Absolutely. Even though Mundo's dying. If it's not being used on Taeyang, that if, just yeah. means who's going to kill Taeyang? As long as he doesn't get killed by the Equalizer. Hannah Patrell, such a short range ADC, and Deadmaster J can block most of Hannah Patrell's damage. Yeah, it's. Throw up the shield, and there's his damage gone. It's, yeah, it's scary to think, but this game is getting to that point where I almost want to call it, but I don't. Because they can't, have a Viger. You can't discount this guy. You can't <laughs> discount Team Maya. He's going to fight until his last breath. His little purple body yeah, is yeah. going to be. <laughs> you know, beaten and battered, but he's going to keep fighting in this one, and the rest of the team I expect to follow suit. And we're going to have a pause here a little bit, and back to us here at the studio. Wow, I am so excited that this went to game three, and this has been a really great game, I think, an eye-opener for most people, just seeing the power of Mundo and the power of the Thunder Ducks. I'm not sure if they wanted to, like, save this comp or, like not show their hand, but it's something that we have not seen from them, mm -hmm. this kind of comp, this kind of focus and sh shifting it towards the bot lane and getting pulses ahead. But it's working, and it's shutting Notice Me Senpai down. The new Viger counter is Mundo. Right, so maybe, <laughs> I think, do you think we're kind of seeing this switcheroo of Team Maya going away from AD Carry, kind of biting them in the butt a little bit? Hannah Patrol not looking as effective as an AD Carry, not looking too comfortable in some of the decisions he's making. As an AD carry. He did love. His his champion pool was off meta. Riven, Kennen. But still, like, effective. It, it, was, champions, it was effective, right? yeah. He did his job. I'm not going to say that. Mm. They were. They're second place in the regular season, so clearly they did something and right. And I, I feel like he could have. He could play Viger. Yeah. Viger isn't a super elite, like, skill no. intensive champion, so. Especially into Victor. Into Victor, especially. That's an easy matchup for yeah, you. So. It's not like you're playing it into Talon where you just cry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so I think the Grace pick is actually coming to bite them in the butt a little bit. Having trouble dealing with tanks. Can't deal with Metaphor and just too short range and Braum total counter to Graves. The Buckshot. You buckshot, know, yeah. Collateral damage. It just goes away. It absolutely goes away in this one. So that all being said, as we catch our breaths here, because there's more lag apparently, um, where do you find Nosumi Senpai coming back into this one? And is it all on Team Maya to bring them back? I think they need, like, 
probably like a five man Vigerstun where he can something godlike. Yeah, like godlike. Actually, good. Some actual good and disengage. I, I don't even know if it's in the cards, but if it's it's hidden, if it's in there. Yeah, if it's in the cards, we have to go through a couple decks to find this <laughs> it's one. It's in multiple decks of yeah, cards. Yeah, I think a lot of the pressure now is going to be on the shoulders of Henry actually and Impreza Boy. Impreza Boy seems to be dying every time they catch glimpses of him doing that play by play. He's always dying in the thick of their back line. That's not where he should be, to be honest. He should be peeling for Hannah Petrell. He should be peeling for Team yeah, exactly. What's the point of him going back there? He's not a Mundo. No, not He doesn't have challenging spite. He doesn't do any damage. He should be doing what Deadmaster J is doing. Just sit back and try to peel for your carries. He's always dying going into the fight. He can't afford to do that. No. So, you know, looking for a couple of different change-ups and play style from a couple of these players. Yeah, and I don't know if you can do that mid-game, especially when you're... It's not like it's a it, fresh start. You're it down, might be too far gone. It's a fresh start where you're down 11,000 gold. Yeah. So that's not exactly the fresh start you want. They should have realized this earlier, maybe, uh, you know, 5,000 gold ago. And things are looking bleak. There's still uh, a lot of pressure being put on right on their doorstep now. They've held out a little bit, having their tier twos up. But now those things are disappearing fast. It is, it's just, the whole game is crumbling. Soon Baron will be back up. Dragon will be back up. And this is just the snowball that yeah. we see from Thunderducks. They're a true snowball team. A true snowball, but it hasn't taken them. They've they haven't really pushed their leads. They have taken almost. They just wait for their chances. They take their time with their chances. They don't force anything. Okay, they flash Brom ulted that mm. last time and dove under two turns. Right. But it worked. <laughs> it, it kind of worked. It kind of worked. <laughs> I I almost see I see a really good comparison between these two teams. Thunderducks is almost like a really way more defined like refined. Uh, Notsumi Senpai. They've got all the individual pieces, like Notsumi Senpai. They've got the hyper-aggressive attitude, like Notsumi Senpai, but they just smarter about their where they're picking True, their fights. Yeah. They're waiting for their moments. They're not afraid to take it a little bit later before they go crazy at you. Notsumi Senpai just seems like, you know what, they just go right at you. And I we talked about this early. If they don't get that great lead when they're running right at you, then... They're running right at you, but then they're yeah, just going to die. It's, it's, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to help your exactly. team get that av advantage. Right. A absolutely. Guys, we're going to take a quick break here as we're still dealing with a little bit of lag issues here near the end of Game 3 for Notice Me Senpai and Thunderducks. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back in a couple of seconds uh, with the action. All right, guys, we are back into action. As soon as we started playing the ad, <laughs> unpause the game, and we're good to go here. Now we're just looking at a game of tower defense. Four notice me senpai, but at this point, Thunderducks aren't afraid of towers, Crafty. No, the the Mundo, Brom, Nar will just ignore. It's they'll almost just like la they'll laugh. They'll just spam <laughs> laugh as they're going in, running at your face with the righteous glory, <laughs> and spam masteries. But spam these guys don't spam masteries too I often. Know, right, and they don't even have them. Mundo, I don't even. He know doesn't even have them because the mastery is on his other. It's, it's Smurf, on his, on his Mundo, Mundo only. Right, I forgot. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, absolutely. Now just clearing all the waves, actually. Pushed out quite far here is Notice Me Senpai without Hannah Petrell. If they were to get engaged on, it wouldn't go very well, but they've got actually a lot of ward coverage that far up even. I'm kind of surprised their ward coverage is that far up, even though they're not going to want to look for fights outside their own turrets. They should keep their wards close to base. You look around that immediate ring around their base, they've got nothing there. All their wards kind of spent in the mid uh, midway point of their jungle, trying to reach out, but they can't afford to. No, they've they got can't. to find fights close to base. Um, but you know what? They might try to fight this Baron, but I'm not sure that they can do it, Crafty. They're just so far behind in gold. Yeah, and that that's just going to kill them. And the, the, if they force a fight here, I think they're going to lose. So I I don't even know if they want to try. Team is TPing in. Oh, look they're how, coming. Yeah, look how disjointed this is. Oh, and Sivir's going to get Sivir's. the Baron, but Hannah Patrell isn't even there. Math God is going to... Zani's here, but everyone is dying. Hannah's going to go down, and Preza Boy's going to go down. Team Math God Maya. eventually. Hannah Patrell, the only one they're not, they're just there. They're ignoring Team, ignoring team they're Maya. They're literally just laughing at Team Maya at this point. He's not doing enough damage. Everyone just going in. Hannah Patrell wasn't even there, and they were trying to initiate. That was just desperation. Liger wasn't able to use anyone with his ultimate. If so you can't go in as five, don't go in at all. And you know what? Take your chances with Baron up minions. You've still got Hannah Patrell way clearing as best he can. A math God can do what he can, but you can't go in to the Thunder Ducks team. 11k down one by one and just die. Wait to get... Sorry. It's like a slaughterhouse. Like Just cows being led to slaughter, honestly. It was just comical seeing that line on the minimap walk and, to their death. And they still have almost a full Baron buff to rotate top, push that out. For, that. for 
like basically for free. I, I mean, it'll, it'll take them a little while because the wave has pushed all the way up to the tier two of the Thunder Ducks. But how long is that for but a Sivir? Exactly. Like? And just look at the item advantage here. Sivir has the Infinity Edge, Bloodthirster. Two games in a row. Oh this my is... god, he's got full, he's actually full build right now, and then you'll laugh as, I'm not being mean when I say laugh, but just the amount that Hannah Patrol is behind, one, eight, nine, ha having to go having Bork. Having IE and Bork, and then has, nothing else has finished. Has to go Bork, probably just to keep the Mundo off him, I don't know, it's... Yeah, try and do that percent health yeah. damage, right, because Bork yeah. into HP scaling champions isn't the worst, but <laughs> Graves doesn't do have that much attack speed so not, you're not gonna be able to do vain. percent you're not vain you're not gonna be able to ch uh, chunk the tanks but, as effectively yeah. and I'm, I'm just flabbergasted I we're just oh, this is an overall surprising game yeah and the fact that oh my god pulses has really showed himself here yeah i need to go give that guy like a hug yeah. or something at the game <laughs> say like sorry like i uh, can, I, can we i'm like, not i wasn't serious when i'm saying like he doesn't we, carry we, we and like stuff, to but pick on him but that's because it's the kind of comp they like to play we understand but yeah it's just it's just funny how they only play braum ash but here he comes in Sivir Ash. yeah it's like carries tons of damage carries absolutely who needs look at the amount of banshees veils once again we saw this game one four banshees veils again for the thunder ducks here it was the exact same game one and Except for it, did, it's, it's not, it wasn't going their way. Except there was, it didn't go their way. It was yeah, a close game, yeah. but it didn't end up going their way. But you know what? This one, I feel like I have... I have complete faith have in this small, push. That I have a tiny these feeling. These minions are eventually going to get into the base, and they're eventually going to have to back off this turret, and they're eventually going to have to fight this team, and I, they're eventually going to lose. Eventually going to lose the game. Unfortunately, that's the way it's looking right now, but we could be wrong. It's going to take a big stroke of luck for that to happen. Hannah Patrell just way too behind here. Pretty much being... A non-factor in these fights. I'm not actually, I'm not actually sure why he's getting prioritized so much in fights. They could, instead of laughing at Team Maya, they should be laughing at Hand of a Trellis. He tries to auto them down. Team Maya still doing lots of damage. 10, 2, and 7 now on Viger. Still scaling up. The later this one goes, you never know. Here come, here come some minions, though. I so, expect this yeah. one to be it. Yeah, Panda's going to go into Flash. Alt is going to be enough. Henry's going to be in the middle of this one. Math God going to immediately get blown up. He's going to Zonia is at 100 HP. Metaphor dive in the back line. Hand of a Trellis still alive. Impreza Boy is there too. The double kill going over to Pulses. Hannah Patrell still there, just doing as much as he can. And it looks like Team Maya was forced to back away out of this one. And for now, just a two for nothing. They're going to get the enhanced doesn't want to that KDA. He's nope. staying in the back. The stats, he may die, but he wants the stats to be good. Metaf Metaphor is going to tank up the front line here, and this is going to be the game, ladies and gentlemen. Henry not going to be able to do enough here, and that is going to be Hannah Patrell going down. Team Maya not duck doing hype. anything. The duck hype is real, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to the finals. And that is game three going to the Thunder Ducks in this best of three semifinals. And we've got our finals all sketched out here. Thunder Ducks. Thunder Ducks versus Vicious, Vicious and Delicious. Yeah, we got it. Can those names get any better? Legit? Legit? Can those logos get any better? No. No? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As our sponsor's looking yeah. right at it. Uh, <laughs> no, but that was a exciting game. Despite the way that one went, I feel a little bit sad for Notice Me Senpai. I, I feel like we owe, like, Pulses, Smith, or Thunder Ducks. We just, like, we're like, this can't we totally, go well. I want to say that we totally wrote them off. We did mention that, we like, we could be, off. we could we write, wrote them off. But we did say that we, we could be we, yeah. proven wrong, and we were proven wrong. And we wrong. were, and I'm glad. I'm glad we were. In that way, they, they showed that they can play a different comp, they can play... A different style of League of Legends, and, and they're smart enough just to play something that just runs at you. Yeah, right. Yeah. And wait, and they pick their fights well, and they yeah, they show the, they're they, just more of a yeah. complete team, right? Even despite Team Maya finishing getting that early lead, and mm -hmm. you're like, oh my god, this is a late scaling it team, and they're seemed like way it was far over. ahead already. Yeah. And Mundo Jungle is into thing, and <laughs> it is, it is, it's a thing. You know what? <laughs> You get to the point where you become unkillable, then it doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, as long as your team's doing damage somewhere, yeah. then you're going to find success, and that's what they do. Slight misplays here and there from Nosby Senpai, probably playing team fights wrong in the mid game, cost which them. cost them that exponential gold lead that just seemed to increase and increase minute after minute for the Thunder Ducks going to the end of this game. Uh, but we got our finalists. We got I'm, our finalists. I'm excited as ever. I am excited. I do want to say congratulations. Uh, to notice me, Senpai, for making it to the final four. They they're not done yet. Yeah. Don't want to mention we keep talking about prizes. the finals, but there's prizes left, and the third fourth place match is coming up later today. So we still got the action, and uh, we're gonna take a quick breather here. I think I'm pretty uh, I'm winded pretty, here. I'm pretty winded. Three games is tough. Absolutely. In a row. Going the distance, 
But yeah, it was fun. It was fun. We're going to go to a couple ads here, guys. And coming up later today, we're going to have Notice Me Senpai versus the Fellowship of the Nerds for a third, fourth place match. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. All right, all right, are we, are we here? Let's kill us. All right, he's brought us in. All right, welcome, guys, back. I am Dezaninator. With me is Devmaster J. After their solid comeback of being down that 1-0 against Notice Me Senpai. So, Devmaster J, was, that game, too, is pretty pretty phenomenal by you guys. What, what really gave you that final push to pull yourself back into it? Yeah, I don't know. We just tried to make less mistakes early this time. Uh, they had a bad level one. They invaded our red buff, and from then on, it was... We just had to play our game, and there was no issues. You guys seemed pretty consistent. You guys, I mean, even in game three, you guys had like a really good, solid lead at the start, and kind of kept pushing forward. Notice we send by. Do you guys find them kind of, kind of find them a hard team to play against? They kind of pick yeah. whatever, whenever. Absolutely, it's hard to prepare for a team like that. Uh, we didn't expect the Vega at the end. Uh, There's a few picks in there we just didn't see coming, and. Um, yeah, uh, we expected a close match, and that's kind of what we got, so. Well, hey, I mean, yeah, you guys came out on top, and that was really good. I mean, even game one, and I mean, okay, this is something I'm going to hammer out in Twitch chat. People just r rip on poor pulses. The guy plays Ash, yeah. the guy plays Simmer, but yeah. I want to say, he got 21 kills in 100%. those last two games, yeah. and he, he plays phenomenal. So, I mean, is that more of a team decision? You guys kind of want him on those carries, or like, because I personally, is his highest mastery champion not Vayne? No, it's... <laughs> We like playing those utility AD carries. I mean, our team is honestly full of carries. I mean, it's tough to carry from the support role, but um, our mid, top, Panda, Taeyong, and uh, Metaphor can all carry games, so it's nice to have pulses on something like with the utility that uh, it's kind of nice backup if we do fall a little bit behind in lane. Because um, notice me, Senpai does have a very strong ball lane. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Hey man, I, I just I just need to clarify, you know, like SWAT the haters. I can say as much as I want. I understand it. So it's like, but but the guy, the captain here, kind of talk about it. That Mundo pick. That's kind of something I want to talk about. I don't think I've ever seen Metaphor play something like this. You don't even see no, him impress. So no. like, was this kind of like a out of the blue pocket pick or? Yeah, we. Uh, it came down to my pick in the draft, and uh, we had talked about in game two and three. Let's go back to the things we've had success on, uh, things we've done before, and uh, he's like. This feels like a Mundo game, and I'm like, oh man, I thought he was joking. So we locked in Mundo, and it worked out. I guess we just gotta trust him. But yeah, I was pretty nervous about that pick. I, I, I mean, in the end, it, it definitely ended up working out. I, but no. you guys, you guys definitely got, got a lot of comfort picks in this series. It kind of looked like you guys were kind of happy with that, <laughs> yeah. though. I mean, nothing wrong with going back to those normal picks. So I guess getting ready for tomorrow, you guys face vicious and delicious. You guys got 0 2 against them last time, I think. But sure did. yeah, you're getting a little ready, a little more prepared coming into this now. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they're another team that's tough to prepare for. I mean, they're so strong. They have a very strong bot lane and all, all around good team fighting. And that's kind of what we're good at is our team fights. So I think it's going to be a great match. I think it should be close. Yeah, I, I, I mean, personally, I'm excited. Both, both series going to best of threes. I don't think you can ask much more. And I, I got to say, I think the top four teams definitely showed up today because I, I was worried. It was like, oh, no, like, I hope these teams are, like, here. We're ready to go because some of the games have been like, oh, no. But yeah, no, you guys, it was really good. You guys pulled through, and it was really great to watch. I mean, I wish you guys the best for tomorrow. And I guess we don't have a third-place match anymore. Notice me, Senpai <laughs> has surrendered. Well, I guess forfeited, not really surrendered this series. So Fellowship of the Nerds are going to be our third-place team. So I guess we're going to give them a little... We're going to take a short commercial break, but thanks, Dev Master yeah, thank Good luck tomorrow, man. <laughs> thanks, man. Oh, well, guys, that's uh, I guess that's a wrap for today. We want to have a huge shout-out. We'd like to present Fellowship of the Nerds, our third-place team. Runners-up, great, solid games. I mean, I don't think you could ask for better games today. So thanks, guys, for joining SK League. And I mean, yeah, we, we, great great participation, giving them some shirts. We're taking home some cash. Hopefully, we'll see them next season. I mean, very entertaining to watch. So... Throw it, throw it out. Where's the mastery flares? I mean, you guys, you guys should have signs or something. That's the only thing I don't see. But I mean, yeah, we want to thank everyone for coming out. It was a great day of games, great day of casting. We appreciate all the spectators, the live viewers, guys. We are back again tomorrow with the grand finals. They start at 12:30 Saskatchewan time. That's a time zone all of a sudden. But we're gonna be back with vicious and delicious versus. The Thunder Ducks is going to be a best of five. You guys don't want to miss it. I mean, the games we had today were just the semis. We're not even at the end yet. So make sure you guys tune out. I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsors. First off, I mean, Matrix Gaming. We're finally here. We gave these guys a shout out, but we've never been here. Live venue. It's been amazing. Wide Mouth Media. 
I mean, they make our stream possible. I mean, I wouldn't look this good without CGI and stuff, so, you know, they patch me up. I love it. All the stream stuff you see, the overlays, these beautiful banners, anything like that. They are really helping us out here. HyperX for sponsoring us. I mean, love them. Giving the headsets for the first place prize. And, of course, Mana Bar. We want to thank those guys. New gaming bar opening up in Saskatoon. Really excited to check it out. And I want to give a huge shout-out to the man behind the scenes, Skillos. He's killing it. You may not see him. You may have seen his hand once in a while. But if you come to the Matrix, you can see the man's face. Oh, wait, he's a guy. I just ruined it. Damn it. Oh, well, he's not a grill. I'm sorry. But, I mean, yeah, huge shout-out. Make sure you guys show up tomorrow. It's going to be great. A huge shout-out, all the casters. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. And we will see you tomorrow. Take care. I have been Blake Dezanity or Dezanity. Good night. <laughs>